Bogey, are you ready to go to Home Depot? We're gonna go to Home Depot and we're going to make you a new perch with Uncle David. <laughs> you ready to go? I suck at this selfie stick thing. We're on our way to Home Depot. We got Bog, the girls, one dude. <laughs> And uh, we hope to make a few perches today. I really want to make a few more wall-mounted perches because Bogey loves his and it would be really cool for him to be able to fly around from room to room and not land on me and my head. Home Depot, we're gonna pick out some untreated wood, very important when making bird perches. And we're gonna go into the Papa entrance there. We ended up getting several dowels, a very long three inch, three fourths of an inch, and a few one inch dowels with screws already in them. We also got a big piece of pine for different kind of perches. Everything we got is untreated and safe for birds. It all came out to be around $40, so we could probably make five perches out of all this stuff. The first perch we're gonna make is the wall mounted perch with the two dowels that we got. We just measured this. We just kind of measured the center of this dowel and we're just gonna cut it down the middle so it's flat. So you can mount it on the wall and then we'll have two dowels coming out and across so the bird can stand on it. Dowels for the bandsaw? You Thank you, Grandpa Lee, for our bird perch machine. What? Me? Keep it going. Now we're going to cut the dowel into two 45 angled pieces to then put on the original piece. A little far off our mark. That's fine. So if someone doesn't have a bandsaw, would they be able to make this perch? They can just use a regular saw? How far and then how far do you want it like? Uh, let's make it like, like right there. Yeah. That's cool. I thought you had one. Oh, it's too big. Yeah. I love how we're jerry rigging this whole thing. That's how most projects start off. Why is it? Oh, because it. Yeah, you guys, that looks so cool. All right. So wait, what's the last, so like, <laughs> what, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Fucking science project in fifth grade. Yeah, that thing's oh. awesome. Bogey's gonna love it, you guys. Caddy <laughs> walk. <laughs> so we just drilled holes with a big bit, and then we got the dowel and tapped it into the hammer. And we cut 45 degree angles on this dowel, and you know, we made two cuts and then kind of joined them. And the glue is toxic, so instead of gluing the, the joints together, we, we put a screw Thank you. It and um, then we'll put two screws in the bottom to hold this in. And we'll probably drill two little pilot holes right here so you can put that in your wall. I will yeah. hang it up. Thanks guys, I love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. He already likes it. So we have this beautiful handmade perch. And before I find a place to put it, I thought that it'd be really fun to personalize it a little bit. I have this engraver that I got from Harbor Freight a while ago. I've never used it. Bogey's gonna probably chew this anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I mess it up with trying to engrave his name on it. The other great thing about me messing with this a ton is that bogeys become really interested in it. So that when we do put it on my wall, he'll probably already fly up to it and land on it. Oh 
always playing in his coconut. So cute. Can you please hang up my new bird perch? Sure. <laughs> Do you want to see the design I did on it? Above this or below it? Uh, or in the middle? In the middle. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, look. Come here, Bo. Bo, look. What's up there? Come on. Hey, Bo. Bogey, are you super down at that new perch spot? So we had fun doing this for a couple of minutes, having Bogey fly to and from his new perch, and everything was going very well, and then Bogey missed his mark. And all his pink grace and glory, even Bogey has his bad moments, moments he probably wishes he could erase. Bogey took a pretty bad spill, like a basketball going through a hoop. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Bogey was totally unharmed in his little spill. He just, you know, needs to practice flying up on his new perch just like anyone else would have to. And we hope you guys enjoyed and we hope you guys get to make a really cool perch. If you are feeling too lazy, hit us up and maybe we'll make one for you. Have a great day.